Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean, and today we want to talk about how designer almost fell off. And actually, this is only one small standpoint of a bigger conversation, this whole fall off conversation that I need to do its own dedicated video about. But the real thing to consider with the designer is the fact that he blew up super quick, right? We all know that Panda was a banger. Everybody thought it was future. And then next thing you know, they realized it was this whole other guy. So you not only had the familiarity of thinking, hey, Future got this song and I love it. Then you said, oh, it's somebody else. And that created more conversation. And now he's to the moon. He's piping hot. But in that time, he really forgot to make relationships. Why did you tweet out uh, F F N Y C radio? Because I want more play. Is that, this is your first time up here, which is shocking to me. Yeah. Because, you know, I do feel like to say F New York Radio, but then we haven't seen designer up nah, here. No, it, 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 like, it wasn't like that. You feel me? And I know y'all have heard time and time again, this industry is based on relationships. So what's going to happen is if you have a product that's just crazy hot, no, people can't stop you. They're going to go ahead and play it, put it on, support you, book you for a show, all of those things. But what's going to happen is when you do not have that, nobody can sustain that kind of crazy organic hot growth without any kind of push forever there's gonna come a time where you can have other hits designer could have 100 songs way better than panda it's likely that that organic growth that happened the first time is not going to happen again without a push and support from other people but because he did not support them they didn't see him as a priority so his music wasn't getting out there and then next thing you know his buzz is starting to die down and the worst part is people were still messing with him but because he wasn't out there in front and getting played as much he still ended up having to fight that perception of looking like he was falling off so it's huge to keep in mind not only do you want to make sure you support these people don't be an asshole I know that sounds like an obvious thing but you'll be surprised the stories that I've heard seen and I'm sure you guys have just you know everybody knows some assholes but even bigger than that you have to make an extra concerted effort if you do have music that's moving really quickly and moving really well at the time the reason that is is because obviously you're out here trying to get this money go up on these stages just like designer said he was he was new to the game he didn't even know that this doesn't happen like that the way i came in the game you know what i'm saying yeah. was so mm -hmm. so devastating you know i didn't know that i had to actually be in front of your face or you know or, or have a you uh, actually had to work yeah you feel me like <laughs> there you go he didn't realize that there was a lot of grind and work to go to it and the message for everybody is realizing hey you have to grind you have to grind to really blow up and then you'll appreciate it and know how to handle it better or you'll blow up first out of nowhere but you're still gonna have to grind to stay there nobody can avoid that grind of shaking the hands putting in the actual work going through the circuit not if you want to have a career. Panda was a moment. A lot of these songs are moments. Some moments are longer than others, but that whole career thing is a whole nother beast. So not gonna get too much deeper or anything like that in this video, but I did think it was important for people to understand that a lot of times it's a lot less about, hey, fans or people don't like my music. It's about my music can't get out like it should because whatever is in the infrastructure is kind of messed up, whether that's not people in the industry supporting me or whether that's not not my team being right or whether I decided to take too long away before I got back in the studio because I was touring so much and I wasn't making new songs all that time. There's a lot of little things. Again, we'll do a video about that later. But that's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.